This is the lesson for uh, December 14th and 15th. We're going to be looking at the basic style for citations of electronic sources. So um, to simplify that, we're going to be doing uh, what we would do on a works cited page to cite an internet source. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is look at this screen. Uh, here are some of the common features that you should try to find before citing electronic sources in MLA style. Not every page will provide all the following information. So this is highlighted because this is very important. Collect as much of the following information as possible. And what that means is that you're not always going to have all the information to you. So whatever information you can find is what you put for an internet source. So in bullet points here, I have that we're going to find the author or the editor, last name and first. Article name in quotation marks, the title of the website in italics, publisher information, including the publisher name and publishing date, the URL, the date you accessed the material. You're going to put that by date access. While not required, saving this information is highly recommended, especially when dealing with pages that change frequently and do not have a visible copyright rate. Underneath, I've written down the format. So the author, period, title, period, in quotation marks, the title of the website in italics, comma, the publisher, comma, publication date, comma, the location, meaning what is the URL, and then date access, and of course, the month and year. So as an example, we have Lundman Susan, How to Make a Vegetarian Chili. The name of the website is eHow. And uh, it was um, uh, 2013 is when it was published. Here's the URL. And then it shows the date that this person accessed it, which was the 6th of July. Okay, so here's what you're going to have in front of you. You're going to have this page. Now, there's three of them with three different pages. So you're going to have three of these. And what we have, and let me just move this a little bit here. Okay, so what we have here is a website citation. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this link. And what, you, what happens when you click on this link is you have a website available to you. And you're going to write down in these blanks the author, the editor name, article name, title of the website, publisher, URL. And of course, I'm not going to make you write down the URL. You can just copy that for the. Uh, and then the date that you access the material. And then what I did is I gave this information to kind of show you how to do it. Okay, so, um, and then here is where you'll type your MLA formatted website. So let's go ahead and click on this link here. And it brings us to this website. How using social media affects teenagers. And experts say kids are growing up with more anxiety and less self esteem. So this was written by Rachel Emke. So that's the name of the author. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to author and editor of the name. Uh, so we're going to put E M H M K E. Or Rochelle, I don't know. So, period there. The article name in quotation marks. How using social media affects teenagers. Quotations. Using social media affects teenagers. Close quotes. What is the title of the website? And this has to be in italics. So the title of the website is the Child Mind Institute, or what we have up here, if you look in the URL right here, childmind.org. So we're going to put childmind.org. That is in 
quotation mark. Publisher information. Okay. Now here's where you find most of that information. When you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you have usually all the stuff down here. This is the publisher information. So copyright and publication date count as the same thing. So down here it says 2020 Childmind Institute Inc. Okay, so that's going to be our publisher. And the publisher is located in New York. And, you know, it, so it kind of gives you all this information here. So Child Mind Institute. Okay. Let me just make sure that I have that right here. Okay. Um, and in, you know, publisher information, the name, location, and publication and publishing date. Oh, let's see. Oops, right here. Um, the uh, what's the day? Okay, twenty twenty is our date, and they are located in New York. Okay, and then the URL, and of course, there's going to be a cut for that. And then the date that we accessed it, so today's date is, um, this very date is December 13th, so I'm going to put 13. We're going to do it in that European way. Whoops. Okay. All right, so that's what we need. That's everything that we need right there. So right now it says, use this example and type the information in MLA format for basic electronic sources. So I've uh, also included the way that it's supposed to be put down and the um, uh, day, access, day, month, and year. And then here's an example of it being done. So what I would eventually do is just type everything down here. And so I would just... Have. So this is what you're going to have left over. Rachel Emke, how using social media affects teenagers in quotation marks. And look at that. That's not an italicized. So you are going to italicize that. And then here is the, um, uh, the URL. And sometimes when you uh, put in the URL, you have to kind of break it up a little bit because it'll just automatically put it all on the next line. So you might have to come, you know, you just kind of have to figure out, well, how much space do I have here? And I'll just between article and how using social media, and then I'll just go ahead and put it in here. So um, we have this. And then, of course, the very last thing that you do is put a period there and you put access 13 number. 2020. Okay, and that is a website citation in MLA. So then obviously what you do is you just go ahead and, you know, I mean, I think the best thing to do is just paste it. So I'll come down here. I'm going to have three of these to do. So I'll just come down here and um, make a fourth page and type work cited. And of course, it needs to be in MLA format. So, or excuse me, in text, uh, Times New Roman. So I'm going to put it in Times New Roman and then I'm going to center it. And then the other two, I'll go ahead and put down here. And uh, and that, that looks a lot more than there. There's double spacing right there. So then what I would do is I would just go ahead and put the other two down here, make sure that they're alphabetical by last name. And that's all we're going to do. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be Monday and Tuesday's assignment. If you ever have any questions, just give me an email and I'll email you right back. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And, uh, and we got four more days, people. Count the minutes and just make it as, uh, as pleasant as possible. All right. I'll, that's pretty soon.